You know, there's not just a lot going on in our Facebook page. There's a lot going on in the world of weather. Do you are racing around the Ooh. studio today? What is going on? Thank God for wheels <laughs> on the chairs. She slid <laughs> in and just woo. <laughs> you never know. Not a pan of place. <laughs> No, but hey, you got to get it get it done and get it ready. But let me tell everybody why. It's because you're updating your temperatures because you're constantly, we know in the world of weather, things change. Yeah. We, we want to know what, what's not just happening now, but as we look ahead into the weekend. What's happening next? You can't plan that, <laughs> That's folks. called boom. <laughs> as far as what's happening on Life in Point Doppler, in case you're about to head out and start your Thursday, we do have a few isolated showers out there. So you could catch a few slick roads across Highway 45 and Highway 43 between Chatham and Jackson as we have a few of those spotty showers. They're moving towards Frisco City, so heads up for you. And we have a few more that are moving towards Leakesville and Loose Dale, so heads up for that. Aside from that, it's the fog issue. Now, really not looking too bad in Mobile in terms of the airport. This is the report location, but we do have some areas of dense patchy fog around the Bayway, places near DIP, so just take it easy out there. Visibility three miles in Pascagoula. We have visibility less than a mile in Milton, so again, just drive with caution this morning and remember to just allow yourself some extra time to get to wherever you need to go. It's warm though. It's 72 degrees in Pensacola. These are afternoon highs for us, and this is even above average then, as typically in the afternoon we should only top out into the mid-60s, so it's very warm. 73 is what we're waking up to in the Mobile area. Now, as far as the setup around the area, it's 73 in Evergreen, 72 in Milton, and these warm temperatures are courtesy of a very warm flow coming in off the Gulf of Mexico out ahead of a cold front, and you can clearly detect where the cold front is. You see this little uh, transition point here. We go from 17 in Kansas City to 61 in Memphis. So again, that cold front is on the move. It's going to slow down as it approaches and it's really not going to impact our area until tomorrow evening and it's going to bring rain with it. And then again, behind it, once it moves by for the weekend, we're going to cool down for Saturday. As far as your morning checklist, leave earlier. Again, we have some areas where we're dealing with slick roads. Not a lot in terms of that, but we also have more areas where we have the patchy, dense fog threat. So again, leave earlier to allow yourself some time to travel. Other than that, take the umbrella as we're going to have spotty showers in the forecast for today, similar to yesterday, so not so bad there. And then in terms of your dress attire, just dress light because it is going to be a very warm day with those temperatures reaching close to 80. Pinpoint predictors showing isolated showers this morning. We could have a few more as we work our way into the afternoon. So not a major threat in terms of rain. The big deal would just be the warm temperatures, and many of you like that. But if you don't, we do have cooler weather coming. Again, this is the cold front that's going to be moving through. With it, we're going to have chance for showers, increased rain chances as we head towards our Friday evening. And then again, behind it, it's going to get much cooler. You saw the colder air that's going to be moving in behind that front. So we're going to have 50s only for highs on Saturday, but we still have to deal with the showers. So our weekend is going to to be somewhat dreary. As far as the forecast though for today, we'll go with 77 for a high in Daphne. Same for Citronelle with a 30% chance for some rain. North of the interstate, 78 for Thomasville. Same temperature for Evergreen and for Chatham. Into the Florida Panhandle, above average temperatures continue with 79 for Crestview. 78 for Pensacola with a chance for a few showers, so don't forget the umbrella. And we're going to keep it mild into Mississippi as well. So here's the seven day. <laughs> Unseasonably warm through Friday, 40% chance of rain tomorrow with the cold front. Cooler for the weekend, drier and cooler next week. It's